Welcome to Resistance Frequency Radio. I'm your host, Paul Aldrich, and tonight we're going to do something very little different. I'm going to talk about today's current events that is being seen around the world. As you know, the coronavirus, which is known as the Nova Coronavirus, or the COVID-19, is a virus that was engineered in a lab. Now, there have been so many misinformation, disinformation, and information overload pertaining to this virus. But there also is something behind it that I would like to address. And that is this. The people who are behind that pushes this have an agenda to get to. They usually do it what by several different methods that they have with themselves at their disposal, which is kind of like a toolbox. They have the Hegelian dialect, which is really problem, solution, reaction. They also have the black swan, the gray swan, the white swan. And each of these deals with events that they, that they themselves, and I'm talking like the elites, that they themselves practice. Last year in December of night. 2019, at John Hopkins University, an event was held, a scenario event, a pandemic event. It was a practice run, dry run, if you might want to say. And their dry run was really basically what happens if a coronavirus was used and it went pandemic. What steps and measures would they need to take? And how would they take it? Now, you can look that up online. It's called Event 201, John Hopkins University. But also, I want to remind you, too, that this was also put on by someone very interesting. Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation are connected to this. Now, as you know... About around the time in December, the Nova virus, the Corona Nova virus, was just getting started in China. And as we look around the world, it is starting to spread slowly from place to places, and it's starting to get to wildfire conditions. A wildfire is when a virus actually takes off, and there's no means to stop it. So we're looking and dealing with a way that they're actually trying to, in a better words to say, bring about the one world government. Now the Black Swan event, you say, how does that fit into this? Well, the Black Swan event is an event that is unexpected, but there's risk involved, and that's why you watch the stock markets. As you noticed, as these events occur, that certain things, such as shipping, merchandise, anything that has to do with buying and selling and finances is all involved. There are other events like the gray swan, the white swan, and the white rhino. And you can find all those online as well. And I encourage you to do that. Research this for yourself. But you know, the one thing that really about all of these things that I'm telling you about are already mentioned in the book of the Holy Bible, God's Word. Matthew 24 gives us a summary of the things of the events that will happen. These are the events, like I said, that are related to Event 201, Black Swan, White Swan, Gray Swan, White Rhino. Luke 21, Mark 13, same way. You see that they are, in effect, 
trying to bring about something that has never existed since Nimrod and that is a global empire this world has never seen a global empire where all continents are under one control all money is routed in one control you know you will start seeing in the next couple of days in the next couple of weeks the things that will be related to this if you have people or friends that are giving you good advice on how to prep what to get listen to them if they're trying to help you prepare not everyone's going to listen I get that but the main thing I want you to take from this is that you are special you're a special creation but these people some of them are not human they have no remorse and they will come and they will con try to conquer see the thing about everything that you are seeing and listening to and watching has to do with the Bible the return of Christ they know this and when you begin to see this manifest before your eyes when you wake up out of that dream that you think is reality that they say is reality that's the reason why I do not watch television anymore because I do, I'm not under their program anymore the programming is to get you to understand their way of thinking. Their, their way of thinking is contrary to the will of God. Their way of thinking is contrary to the thinking of God. Their contrary is to remove love that God has placed among us. Instead, they go after the bitterness, the hatred, the accusations, whatever they can do to divide and conquer that's what they will try but I want you also to understand this the father has shown us a way out and that way out is through his word and through his son Jesus Christ even though it's, you say well I don't know that much about the Bible there are people online and on Facebook on YouTube on any kind of platform they can help you get through those things that you need they can help you to learn but always there's one thing once you receive Christ in your life that's the first thing you gotta do is turn from your sins and accept Christ into your lives and once you do that it becomes much easier I know that there's probably background music playing but that's okay the point that I'm trying to tell you people is this. There is a time coming that the Bible is mentioned called the tribulation. And I believe it's here. I see what the enemy is doing as far as their design, as far as to take over the world in different areas and phases. United Nations is one of the things you have to watch carefully because they aren't the ones that are leading the charge. The Pope needs to be watched close too because it's through the Vatican that we will see the rise of the false prophet. See, it's not all about Jerusalem. It's really all about it's God's return, Jesus' return. That's what it's truly about. See, they don't want you to have what they lost and that is fellowship and non-separation from God. But the age of grace is closing fast. And you have to make a choice. The Bible says you cannot choose, you cannot have two masters to try to live by that. Because it won't work. You're either in the world or you're out of the world. That's up to you. But I do want you to know one thing. Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the light. And no man comes before the Father except through me. I also want you to know this. 
that the Father loved you so much that he put this one scripture in just for you. It's John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whomsoever believed in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. That is the free gift from God himself. You do not have to work for it. You do not have to strive for it. All you have to do is open your heart and say, Yes, Lord, come clean me out. Come remove the pain. Come remove the rejection. Come remove the hurt. Because when you become new and a new creature, as the Father said, all of those old things have been forgotten. That means you do not hang on to them. You let them go and you let them be. And then you move forward because the Lord has something. The Father, the Heavenly Father, has something greater for you. But you have to be the one to choose that. No one else can. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess. On the, either it's now or on Judgment Day. The choice is yours. I'll be back with some other videos hopefully very soon but until then I want you to think very hard about where you're going to spend your eternal destination and there's only two places there's heaven and there's hell and both of them are very real for a minute resistance frequency radio I'm Paul Aldridge good night